Scott? Scott. Now we'll measure the diameter and the mass of this disc. Here is the value scale zero. Approximately 15 kgs. The diameter of the disc. It's around 28 centimeters, that is 280 mm. With the ball bearings on both the strips here. You can see this is how the mechanism. This is the second strip, this is the topmost strip. This is <coughs> we have a double ball bearing shaft altogether. This back. Now we are going to fix this onto this.
we shall start it again. calculate the efficiency of this machine through the technical calculations. Here we have two 12 volts, 2.5 NH battery, they are connected in series, plus to minus, again minus to plus, plus to minus. Let us measure the voltage here. The voltage across this is found to be around 25 volts. To <coughs> know the current consumption, we shall connect an ammeter in series. These are the two wires connecting the main driver board. This is positive, this is negative. You can see now, this is the ammeter and this is the voltmeter. These are two batteries here and the main wires to this board is still there. Now I switch on the main plug. Actually suppresses 
stop at the 900 RPM to ease our calculations. Take it roughly as 900 RPM. It is 898. India will stop it. Current is 22, 2.22 amperes. Voltage is 22.3. Voltage is 22.3. Current is 2.2 amperes. This is approximately 900 RPM. Let us calculate Input voltage is 22.2 volts and the input current is 2.2 amperes. So the power input is given by Twenty two point two into two point two. The input electric power is approximately forty eight point eight four watts. Now to calculate the output power, first we calculate the torque. Torque is M into G into R. The mass of the disk is fifteen kgs. Into acceleration due to gravity 9.81 into radius of the disk is 0 0.13 meters. This comes to 2 This is around 19.1 Newton meter. The power formula is given by 2 pi and t by 16 and this is 2 into 3.14 into 900 into 19.1 by 60 2 into 3.14 into 900 into 90 Point 0.1 divided by 60. We get 17.99 watts. This is the output mechanical power and this is input electric power. Let us calculate the efficiency of this machine. Efficiency is power output by power input into 100 and this is given by 1799 divided by 48.84 into 100. Let us calculate the efficiency of this machine. 1799 divided by 48.84 is equal to into 100. 
this is coming to around 3683 percent yeah <clears throat> conventional motors do not create energy now, <clears throat> this machine has an efficiency 3683%. This is because we are encashing the magnetic energy here to improve the efficiency of this machine. Because efficiency is greater than 100, we can mount this on an alternator or a permanent magnet generator and produce the same current and recharge these batteries. In such a case, it would be a self-running motor. We don't require any fuel or electricity, external source of electricity to drive this motor. In case the permanent magnet generator or else the dynamo or alternator produces excess power than required to charge these batteries, then we can use it for glowing bulbs or any electrical appliances. In such a case, it is a portable generator which requires no petrol or diesel. So it is a clean energy. So we are actually planning to modify this machine so that even a four-wheeler, six-wheeler or a three-wheeler or two-wheeler can utilize this magnetic energy, thereby reducing the pollution and stop the usage of petrol and diesel. We are looking forward for funds so that we can take this project ahead in the shortest time.